Welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a little chatty get ready with me. I didn't do a get ready with me even that long ago, but I just felt like having a little chat while doing my makeup. Um, so let's get into it. Someone's just decided to start hammering outside. Great timing. <laughs> so the first thing that literally is what I've been already moaning about at the start of this video, but um, I want to get a new camera. So my Canon G7X is just getting old. Um, and it's just starting to take its time focusing. It still works, the focus still works, um, and it's still like a good camera, but it's just driving me a bit insane when like filming videos. It's fine if you're taking photos, that kind of thing, but it's getting to the time where I need to get a new one. So I've really been thinking about whether I wanna get a new G7X or whether I want to just get a totally new camera. So I have my big camera, my Nikon D5600, which is a great camera, but I don't really like using it for filming. Um, I prefer to just use it for my college, for photography, but I've nearly finished my photography course, so I'm throwing around different ideas of like thinking about getting rid of it, like selling it to put towards a new camera, because this camera still works, and it's a really good camera, so I don't know whether to get another G7X, um, like the new Mark III or whatever. This light is probably going to drive you insane. Um, but yeah, and I don't, or I don't know whether to just get a new camera. There's a couple that I've been looking at. One that's kind of in the top running is the Canon M6 Mark II, which looks really, really good. And I have seen a few other people use it for vlogging. Um, but the thing I'm worried about is stabilization because obviously this is a great camera for vlogging. So the stabilization is really good. Um, and using a bigger camera like that would be different. But I'm thinking it would be really good because I can get the just the classic lens that comes with the kit, but I can buy another lens which would be great for my sit down filming videos like this where it blurs the background more. Sorry, I know I'm literally not looking at you. I'm trying to do my makeup. Also, when I film with my curtains shut, I look like I have brown eyes. Also, if I was to get the, um, the, M, the new Canon M6 Mark D, um, it is like a proper camera like you can, I Actually, can I even go on manual mode with it? I don't know, but you can put it on manual and you can do change the aperture, shutter speed, whatever. It is a mirrorless camera, so it is like a, it's a good camera. So if I did want to do any photography just in my own time, or if I wanted any of my friends to take photos of me, then it is a good camera for that, which is why I am leaning towards getting that one. My brows look really bad today. So obviously I have been focusing a lot more on my YouTube recently, it's just been something because I've had so much time, well not even that much time, but because I've had more time than usual, I have been wanting to film, obviously, um, it's just kind of difficult with a camera that's very annoying, but also, like the videos I want to do, I want to do more fashion-y type videos, but um, it's hard like when you've not got really someone to help like obviously I've got like my family but they're both like both my parents are working and my sister won't do it for me <laughs> um so it's hard trying to like film it yourself so once we're out of lockdown maybe I can grab some of my friends to make them do it with me I really enjoyed the recent video that I did and I would like to do more even if it's not that style it's just like general fashiony stuff I just really enjoyed doing it and I really enjoyed editing it and putting it together and it's just something that I'm interested in. Um, I just really enjoy fashion and I might not be the most like high fashion person but the kind of fashion that I like I really enjoy um, like finding new pieces, putting outfits together. So I do want to incorporate more of that into my channel even if I don't really know how to do that so if any of you have any ideas let me know. I have placed a sheen order. I've placed them on like two separate days, so they're probably going to arrive at completely different times, which I really didn't think about, but I'm going to do a Shein haul. I've never ordered from Shein before, but obviously see it everywhere, and it just looks really interesting to me, and they have some really nice bits for such a good price, so I basically want to do like a first impressions, um, but yeah, it's something that I do want to do a bit more on my channel. I'm just trying to still figure out videos that I want to be doing and just kind of narrow down my channel a bit more 
but at the same time I really love doing a range of videos because I'm the type of person who gets bored very easily so being able to do like a range of stuff on my channel is just like more interesting for me and I don't get bored I'm gonna keep it open I do want to incorporate more fashion um, I'm not so much as beauty anymore I just don't do it like this is the first time I'm doing proper eyeshadow I did a look the other day where I did like pink eyeliner that's about it I just don't ever do eyeshadow I couldn't call myself a beauty channel um, I just can't be bothered to do it I would just rather just put on like quick bit of makeup that I know is gonna look good because sometimes I just find I look a bit weird with proper makeup on but yeah I'm just really trying to sort out my fashion stuff and I've really enjoyed doing stuff for Instagram which I have really been trying to keep up with and post more I don't want to post too often because I feel like like all these things I've like been watching videos and people are like yeah post every single day post twice a day and I just think if I see if I see someone's post too often I get annoyed with it I get annoyed with seeing their face like even if it's someone who I really like um I just get annoyed because I like to see a variety of different things so if I'm seeing the same thing all of the time it just kind of drives me insane so I feel like if I posted too much people would just get like bored and unfollow um this is a new sponge I'm trying I got it for Christmas seems okay so far it's pretty spongy um where was I so yeah, I'm trying to grow my Instagram and I'm really enjoying doing that. And I feel like this, obviously, lockdown has been a great time to do that. I don't know how much longer we're going to be in lockdown. Um, the announcement... Actually, when you're watching this, they might have already announced it. I don't know. But at this point, it's Sunday and they're doing another announcement on Thursday. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much longer I have in quarantine. So I'm trying to make the most of it. Getting Instagram photos. And then after that... I don't know what's happening with college, with work, with just everything. So I'm just going to make the most of it and try and fit it into like what is happening over the next year because I'm not going to school, I'm going to be working. But I do want to leave time for me to do YouTube because it's what I really, really enjoy doing. And getting back to it recently has made me realise that actually I really do enjoy YouTube because obviously I had quite a long time off just because I needed a break. And I didn't have time but this has just reminded me how much I enjoy filming how much I enjoy editing my skin has been quite dry recently I think it's because I've been neglecting my skincare routine um, since we've been in lockdown I do want to do more like I mean obviously I'm doing a get ready with me but some more like artsy get ready with me's um, I've seen a few recently and I just I really enjoy watching them I think they just look really put together and really make a video like obviously I love these chatty videos but I really enjoy editing the more artsy videos more. That's why vlogs are like some of my favourites to edit because you can just, you have more creative freedom. Oh my god, I literally look like a ghost. So yeah, I just basically, I just want to play around with my channel a bit and just see what videos I prefer doing, what videos you guys prefer and yeah, and just kind of go from there. Just kind of thinking, what videos do I actually want to film myself? Like what videos do I really enjoy doing? But also, what videos do you guys want to see that is relevant to me? I would class myself as like, like when people say, what kind of YouTuber are you? I would say like fashion, beauty and lifestyle. That's the general gist of what I would class myself as. I can, I had garlic in my lunch and I can just really taste it. I'm sure you guys didn't really want to know that, but. Oh, I forgot to do my little sponge thing. Anyway, um, another, we're moving on to fashion again. Um, like, I feel like I finally know what I like to wear. Like, I've been really trying to, like, literally over the last few years when I've been buying clothes, I've been buying clothes that I thought I liked. And a lot of the time, yeah, they've been really nice clothes. But at the same time, I've been trying to follow fashions um, and, like, trends going around. Not all trends, because I've not really been a fan. But I've bought clothes that I thought, oh, yeah, people like this. But then I just haven't worn the clothing items and I haven't like felt nice in them. So I'm really just trying to sort out my wardrobe and make it something that I enjoy. Like because I really do like clothing and it's something that I've been getting into. I want to actually like the clothes that are in my wardrobe. Which is why I've placed a Shein order and I've only ordered things that I like. Um, and I'm only going to keep things if I actually generally like them. 
I tend to order stuff and I think, oh yeah, it fits. So I just keep it, even if I don't necessarily like it, which is such a waste, I know. So this time I'm just trying to be a bit more brutal and only keeping things that I know I'm gonna wear, that I know I like and that I feel nice in to wear. Like, even if it looks nice, but if I don't like wearing it and it doesn't feel like comfortable, then I'm not gonna keep it. Like, I'm working at my body. I'm doing workout stretching, which I know stretching isn't gonna lose anything. But I've also been starting running and I really enjoyed it. Um, then I hurt my leg. It wasn't a hamstring, but it's another kind of like, I think it's a ligament in the back of my leg, like below my bum. Um, Obviously I can't get anywhere to like find out what it is otherwise we would go to like the chiropractor or whatever because he just is great <laughs> um, So I've just tried to rest it over the last week and I'm Gonna slowly get back into it, which again leads me on to another thing is that I wanted to do like My whole how I got the splits video and now it's really pushed me back like a lot. I was like so close to the splits like I can't even describe to you how close I was and then that happened and I am really far off again so it's going to take a good few weeks to get back to the place that I was but like I'm determined to get it so I'm gonna do it. Another video, oh god I feel like this has been such a random video, um, I want to redecorate my bedroom, I've already said that in like so many videos you're probably all so tired of hearing it but um, my nana is going to be moving house, obviously, at the moment. We don't know when that's going to happen because of everything. But she said I can have the double bed from their spare bedroom, um, which I'm very excited about because I have wanted a double bed for the longest time. Um, so I've drawn up a lot of plans on, like, how it's going to fit. It involves getting some new furniture, so I'm going to be buying a new desk, set of drawers, bedside table, that kind of thing. Um, which I'm really excited about. It does mean a big declutter. If it means getting a double bed, I literally don't care. <laughs> I'd rather declutter. Like, there's so many things I don't use, so I may as well get rid of them and just keep them in a smaller space. So yeah, I will be making a video out of redecorating my bedroom. I mean, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to be painting or anything. I do need to wipe the walls down, which I've only noticed since I've moved my room around. But this whole wall here is really dirty. Like, tea spill... Um, marks from where I've like scraped my laptop against it which is kind of bad um, so yeah I will be like moving things around I'm buying as I said new furniture new bedding that kind of jazz that will be a video coming oh, who even knows when I don't know when um, but I'm really excited to be able to get my room how I really like it there's nothing wrong with my room my room is very pretty it's very nice but since I've had it done, I just feel like my whole vibe has changed and like a lot's happened over the last couple of years of, since I had this room done and like I've grown. I think I was 16 when it was finished and I mean I'm 17 now, I'm nearly 18 and I just feel like life changes so I want to change my room around to suit me and I mean I don't know how much longer I'm going to be in this room forever sorry mum and dad um so yeah i just want to get it really really nice and just how i like it how i feel comfortable more my vibe and more relaxed i feel like when i did this i made it like the very like glam vibe and i still like that but i would say i'm a bit more like glam boho um so i would rather like merge the two rather than be so set on like one thing if that makes sense i don't know if that does make sense my neck looks really bad oh i need to do the eyelashes i'll be back once i've done my eyelashes okay so um eyelashes are done the next thing i'm gonna do i mean i've kind of finished talking i can't even remember what i was talking about I don't really have much else to say it's not like i've been doing much in lockdown have i i'm just gonna highlight my eyes a little bit i feel weird i haven't done gold and orange eyeshadow in ages it feels so weird to have done like sparkles i'll tell you i just started re-watching gossip girl again for the third time it is good but i struggle when re-watching to get past series four i mean not that i'm on that yet i'm still on series one i literally restart started watching it the other day but yeah okay lips just i'd say my current favorite is this mario badescu lip balm so i'm gonna put some of that on guess what guys we're using a lip product today um really nice new lipstick that i have bought recently 
It's called Vaseline. <laughs> you guys know I'm not really a lipstick person, so we're going to use some of the Rosy Lips Vaseline. I always look so tanned when I do my makeup in this mirror. I mean, not on camera. <laughs> but as soon as I open my blinds, I'm not going to look tanned and I'm going to look super pale again. Okay. Let's move this mirror. I feel like I'm reflecting light and I'm like, ooh. That is the look done. I feel like I need to figure out this focus again. So, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just a very chilled, chatty kind of thing, which is sometimes great. But yeah, that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all soon with another one. Bye. Oh, 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 I can't breathe without you.